Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for October the 24th of 2020. Well, it is titled globular cluster 47 tuck. So what do we see here? Well, this is an example of what is known as a globular cluster. And a globular cluster is a grouping of stars bound together by its own gravity. And in this case, there are 100,000 stars or so bound together in this big globular cluster. And it is a very small region, uh, relatively speaking, in that it's only about 120 light years across. Now, what does that mean? Well, it's the, the stars are compacted very densely. So if you lived in a globular cluster, you would see a lot more stars in the sky, a lot more bright stars in the sky, because so many stars would be very close to you. In our part of the galaxy, the nearest star is about four light years away. And there's often a few light years out between stars. So within a region like that, there might be, you know, dozens of stars in our region of the galaxy. But here there are 100,000. So for every star that we're used to seeing in the sky, you could be seeing many, many stars in this globular cluster. Globular clusters are also some of the oldest parts of our galaxy. And when we can figure out their ages, they tend to be 10, 12 billion years old, going back to the origin of our galaxy and some of the very earliest remnants of our galaxy that formed long ago. Uh, there are many star clusters uh, now, but there were probably a lot more long ago. Many of them finally get disrupted by the galaxy as they orbit around our galaxy. And if they come too close, they will get disrupted by the gravitational field and get torn apart. So over time, they eventually get uh, consumed to, to within the galaxy itself. And that's actually how galaxies do grow is through cannibalization through the consumption of other uh, clusters, other galaxies that cause little galaxies to grow into big ones. So it's possible that very long ago that many galaxies looked like the clusters that we see here today. Uh, it's also a very interesting one as is noted in the description that this is one has a star with a very close orbit around a black hole. So it's something else that astronomers study. They are trying to learn about these different types of objects. So that was our picture of the day for October the 24th of 2020. It was titled Globular Star Cluster 47 Tuck. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.